News Channel 3 got an exclusive look today inside the brand new Acrisure Arena. The 11,000 seat venue is set to open to the public on December 14th. So how close is it to being ready? I went on today's private tour and spoke in depth with CEO Tim Lewicki. So Tim, we just went on an incredible tour of this impressive new arena. But I have to say, it's hard to believe, will it be ready by December 14th? Well, that's what everyone always asks, and it's this is our sixth arena my company's built in the last 14 months. And in every case, same question gets asked, and we got everyone open on time. So one of the things we're really fortunate about is not only do we have about five or 600 members of the unions and the trades in Leuna, as you saw today, that are all working, most of them doing double shifts for me now, but I got about 100 of my executives from all over my company. So every executive of every one of our arenas will be in here in the next two weeks helping us open this building, not only to make sure that we get it open, but to make sure when our guests come in that we're very driven and making it a great experience for everybody. During the tour, you mentioned that there were some supply chain issues and worker <laughs> issues. Can you tell us about that? Yes, there, there were supply chain issues and worker issues. So. Here's the, the, the thing I'm most proud about for my executive team is we've opened six new arenas in 14 months. We've had COVID, we've had inflation, we've had recession, we've had shipping issues, we've had labor issues, and now we have flu and virus issues. And yet, despite all of that, we have powered through. So you see little things like that little ring there that's not finished on our LED. That's because the LED panels got lost in shipping somewhere. But we found them yesterday. They arrived yesterday. We'll get them all on and they'll be ready to go by opening. So we've had rail strikes. We've had truck strikes. We've had cargo bays shut down. Throughout it all, the folks at Hunt, who are our general contractor, our subcontractors, and in particular, the, the saving grace for us, the skilled labor in this community, the, the union labor and the, the, the Leuna labor, they've been unbelievable. So this weekend, we gave everybody off during Thanksgiving. Everybody showed up on Saturday and Sunday to work voluntarily to help us get it finished. And so really proud of the union workers and how they've really taken this place to heart. Are you anticipating there might be any types of delays at all? Sure. But, you know, again, we got a lot of, it's, we, we operate 150 arenas around the world. So the good news is all of those executives will be in here for our opening. So first night with Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock, because it's a comedy show, a lot easier to load in, load out. So that's a good way to break the building in because we don't do a full load. Second night, Doobie Brothers, it's the grand opening event. It's our band, Irving's managed the Doobie Brothers for 50 years, so the good news is they're more patient than most bands with us. They're actually going to do the groundbreaking and the ribbon cutting for us uh, on opening day. Then by the time we get to that third concert, Grupo Firma, that one's completely, they're all sold out. But getting to that one, that one's going to be important for us because that's when we'll have full capacity, 11,000 people. So it, we're, we're doing enough on the first few nights so that by group of firma and then that Sunday night first Firebirds game, we think it'll be sold out 10,500 there. So it's gradual. We throw a lot of people at it, but we, you know, traffic, getting people in, getting people out because it's a new arena. It'll take time for people to figure it out. You know, as I look around, I'm just so impressed by the attention to detail in every room. You really put a lot of thought into this. Well, so my partner Irving Azoff and I, we both live in the desert. I live at Toscana. Irving lives in Madison. We've been living in here. My old company, I used to be partners with Paul Toledo and Coachella. So we know the desert well. We love the desert well. We live in the desert. Our friends and family are all here. We take this personally. We privatize the whole thing so it's our money. We didn't take one dollar of taxpayers. In fact, we're going to be one of the largest payers of taxes in all of Riverside County. And I wouldn't say I'm proud of that, but it's the right thing to do. I think Irving and I are very hands-on here because this is our baby. So every arena we have, I feel personal about because it's my company. But this one in particular, it happens to be where I live. And what goes through your mind when you're walking around looking at everything as they're putting on the finishing touches? Hurry. <laughs> That's honest. But we want it to be spectacular. So just the little things like that LED board, um, you know, look, putting the game on for all of our construction workers today, you know, we, we want to do things that ultimately make everyone feel like this is their home. 
I feel the same way on the touches, which is what are the special things we're doing? The amount of money we put into acoustics, people don't do that in most arenas. We did it here because I am very driven. I want the Doobie Brothers, or I want the Eagles, or I want uh, Maroon 5 on New Year's Eve. I want Adam to come to us afterwards and say, that's the best room I've ever heard. That's very personal to us. Certainly very exciting. Tim, we appreciate your Thank time. Thank you. This is we'll see you in two weeks. Yes. We'll be done. We are going <laughs> to open. <laughs>